Sometimes we look back at video games and we think, that didn't age great. But some games, man, you look back at them and they hold up. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, seven old games that still look great in 2023. Starting off with number seven, and I'm just gonna preface this, there's a few Assassin's Creed games on here, but we're starting off with Assassin's Creed Syndicate because wow, this game came out in 2015. That is eight years ago. It was released on PlayStation 4, not PlayStation 4 Plus, PlayStation 4. Look at this game. Now we can talk about how nice it looks when the weather's good, but I wanna just hone in on what this game looks like when it's raining. Now this game's only a couple years after Watch Dogs came out and basically flopped all over the place in terms of what it looked like in the rain. They advertised it looking amazing. Frankly, something that would hold up today. And this is the same company, Ubisoft. 1800s London looks amazing in the rain. It looks amazing not in the rain, but this is the kind of thing that you want a game to look like. Like this, honestly, with a little bit more detail, is what I would want a game to look like now. Certainly, this game could benefit from ray tracing. Absolutely. And the foliage is certainly not incredible. All the new nanite stuff that Unreal Engine is doing blows it out of the water, but this is what foliage looked like up until a couple of years ago, to be frank. It got a little bit better, but not a lot. And from a distance, it just blends right in. It looks natural. When you get up close to it, not so much, but to be frank, this is a beautiful game. I went back to it recently just for the sake of enjoying it. Yeah, Jacob is kind of irritating, but Evie's pretty awesome, and it definitely evens it out. To be frank, this is just one of the better Assassin's Creed games. It was super underrated, and the world that it created is just fantastic. I love going through the factories, the rooftops, the more ornate Victorian stuff. It's really a beautiful game. Even if, again, there are a few minor details that would look very different today, I think, including all of the character models. They're definitely above average for their time, but they are of their time. That said, if a game came out looking like this today, I don't think it'd get dinged that hard for graphics. I don't think anybody would be saying like, it's cutting edge or anything, but look at this stuff. It's great. There's just so much detail and love put into the world. And number six is The Witcher 3. Now there's two ways to talk about The Witcher 3. Firstly, in its original form, and secondly, in its next gen update form. I'm gonna say it's worth talking about both, because if you do look at this game in its original form, it still holds up. It is a beautiful game with a world that has been crafted to be absolutely stunning. Witcher 3 was another game that came out in 2015, and I think obviously goes even beyond any of the beauty that is found in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Witcher 3 is just a masterpiece. There's no other way to put it. It is CD Projekt Red running at their absolute peak, putting out brilliant work. Any needs, master? And without the next gen update, it still holds up. Although, there are areas where you can begin to see, oh, this has got that old timey kind of lighting and certain things are baked in, some textures are low res. You can notice them if you're looking. If you're not looking, it's one of the prettiest things you've ever seen. But if you're paying attention, and that's why the next gen update was so significant. It brings in a totally different lighting system that just changes fundamentally what you're looking at. It doesn't fully ray trace the entire everything. It brings some ray tracing elements in. I don't really know to what extent, and I don't really care because it transforms what is already beautiful into something that is comparable to almost anything today. It doesn't just hold up. It's still one of the prettiest games that exists.
I mean, some of the areas where the lighting kind of exposes that it's a bit of an old game, I don't even notice it anymore. And the detail in the NPCs and the characters is on par with anything I'd expect from any normal game now. Maybe not a current masterpiece tier game, but certainly above double A. Witcher 3 is just one of those games where you absolutely cannot look at it at any point in any location in the game and think, oh man, they skimped here. And number five is Assassin's Creed Origins, which is a completely different visual look than Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Came out two years later in 2017, and to be frank, despite the fact that I think Syndicate is an absolutely gorgeous game, with a bunch of very cool different areas one can see, it doesn't really match the kind of variety of what you can see in Assassin's Creed Origins. You've got desert, you've got oasis, village, bustling city, you've got sailing around on rafts with incredible water physics, and the frickin' pyramids. And it's all a pretty big jump from Syndicate. In the two years that passed between these two games, it's kinda shocking how much of an upgrade there is. and especially considering how good Syndicate looks. These games both hold up today, although I would say that Syndicate might look like an upper tier AA game, while Origins still looks like a AAA game to me. And number four is Arkham Knight, and here's where we begin to reach an area that is insane. To me, it's almost hard to believe that this game didn't just come out. It is such a good combination of style, realism, surrealism, and a gothic sensibility that almost reminds me of Tim Burton's version of Batman, however with a much wider color palette. This game definitely benefits from not necessarily trying to look super realistic, However, some of the effects in it are just second to none. The rain in particular, seeing the rain on Batman's cape or reflecting off the road or any number of situations. He's got a grudge against the bat and he's keeping on. All of the neon lights that are just engulfing this city and ominous reds icy blues and nebulous purples. With a few mods, this game looks like a top tier AAA game now. If somebody released a game that looked like what this game looks like with ray tracing and 4K enabled, it would be regarded as one of the best looking games of the year. I know somebody might argue with that, but I think they're wrong. Seriously, look at this. Look at all these beautiful reflections. Look at all this rain, this atmosphere, this architecture. Look at how amazing Amazing this looks. This is top tier. What I want a Batman game to look like. And I just, I don't see how you could do better. This is the perfect Batman look for a video game. Maybe not for a movie, but what would you do better than this? I don't know. And number three is Assassin's Creed Unity. This game actually came out a year before Assassin's Creed Syndicate and takes place during the French Revolution. Now, there are things about this game that I think surpass Assassin's Creed Syndicate. To be frank, some of the buildings in this game are absolutely stunning, and there's less repetition in environment. That being said, it doesn't have the same kind of variety of different types of things to see as Assassin's Creed Origins, which obviously succeeded both of these games. And there's some things about how crowds work that can make it a little awkward that just don't have the same problems in Assassin's Creed Syndicate a year later. That being said, this is a beautiful game. The art direction is probably unparalleled in any of the Assassin's Creed games following it. It does this thing where it borders on fantasy with its style rather than just going full realism.
But again, you have a few of the small minor things that you notice are definitely dated, like the foliage if you start paying close enough attention. Also, some of the NPCs are not quite as detailed as one might expect. That being said, for a near decade old game, this holds up. It is shocking how much it holds up, in fact. It's one of those games that just does a phenomenal job at transporting you to a different era. Really, all of the Assassin's Creed games mentioned do that exact same thing. And there are a few of these games that do it better than others, but you're looking at a game from 2014 right now. That's, I mean, shocking to think about, actually. And number two is Metro Exodus. Now, this game's not quite as old as the other games we've been talking about. It's from 2019, but there's a really good reason why we're talking about it. This is from before the era of Unreal Engine 5. Completely before. And I think you could release a lot of the areas of this game as a quote-unquote tech demo, and people would be like, wow, look at this. That looks incredible. And just to be clear, we're talking about without mods. This is a beautiful game. All of the NPCs and characters look incredible, and it's not necessarily that they look super realistic. They do have a realistic tinge to them, but everything has that perfect balance of art direction, and everything just feels like a collage that you could photograph and just spend a long time staring at it, looking at all the various little details. Everything's composed incredibly, from lighting effects to the fact that nothing looks like it repeats itself at all. What was that? Could you check it out? This is a game that runs on an engine that you've probably not even really heard of, the 4A engine, which is an internal THQ engine that was utilized in all of the Metro games from 2010 to 2019 and just holds the hell up. Look at this. I mean, what about this isn't fantastic? And finally, at number one, it's Final Fantasy XV. This is a game that exists in a world of its own, and I really do mean that. There are things in this world that you just can't see anywhere in real life. All of these strange rock formations and all of this. Rather sultry. Yeah. Imperials above us! Thanks. However, that being said, for a game that came out in 2016, this could be a game that came out now. There are some incredible cloth physics, incredible foliage for the time, huge draw distances, and stunning vistas in basically every direction you look. While yes, your characters do not look like people who would really be walking around in the world at all, and there is a lot of technology and surrealism that exists in this world that could not exist in our world. But there is something about this game that just can't be replicated. And I'm not saying there's never times that it shows its age. There are. But there's times where you can just see things in this game that, I mean, they look photorealistic, but they're not something you could ever see anywhere because it's not stuff that exists. Couldn't get the fire going. You could have just cast a spell. Kind of overkill, don't you think? Hopeless. Driving down a highway, going under these really weird rock awnings, I guess. Look like the St. Louis arches, but rock with these ice blooms and forests off the background. It's incredible. It manages to look completely removed from how something looks in this world and yet so familiar because it all acts like it's supposed to with the light, with the fog off in the distance and the reflections. Everything is just beyond top notch. And for most of the story, it really sucks you into this world. Everywhere you go, something is going on. Everything feels real. It's not just that it looks like this, but they've populated it with people that feel like they're living their lives out. Again, within some limitations, obviously, but this is one of those games that just feels active in a way that many, many don't. And the graphics are a huge part of that. You feel like there's a, an entire thing going on in a town that you could easily miss while out in this expansive wilderness that is 
this own wild, unpredictable expanse. It's, it's not paralleled in something else. It has its flaws. I am not going to say this game doesn't have its flaws, but it's one of those games that really knocks it out of the park despite its flaws. And again, part of it is because look at this. What is there to argue with? This is beautiful. And that's all for today. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription, so click subscribe. Don't forget to enable notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.